Bonjour à tous, hello everybody. Today's topic is five, five steps to learning a new language. Number one, if your language has a new writing system, you have to start with the alphabet. Why? Well, if you learn a language like Japanese or Chinese and you rely on the rom romachi and the pinyin, you are going to run into a lot of problems later down the line. Obviously, this depends on your goals for the language. If you just want to be conversational and never be able to read, go ahead, don't learn the script. But my suggestion is to first start learning the script of the language because you'll, you'll be able to pronounce things a lot easier because you're not relying on an English rendering of the language. Tip number two. After I finish learning the alphabet, I move on to basic greetings and vocabulary. This sounds obvious, but it's so easy to learn this in any language. And as soon as you're over that little hurdle, you'll feel really good about yourself and you can start talking to people. I also suggest you learn the 100 most used words in the language. You're gonna hear these words a lot. They're gonna pop up in movies, on the radio, in music, in books. So if you know the basic readings and vocabulary and a bit of grammar, as well as 100 most useful or most common words, you're already at a very good place. Step number three, that brings me to grammar, my favorite. I'm so in love with grammar. I think I learn more grammar structures than I do vocabulary. Learn a grammar structure, write it down hundreds of times and pop in new vocabulary words. That way you will learn how to use the structure and you're learning new words at the same time. Number four, practice. You need to get a language partner and you need to make sure you're using the language every day. If you don't use this language, at least for a week. I mean, if you learn for a while and you stop for a week, you're gonna forget so much. So even if you have to force yourself just to do five or 10 minutes a day, do that because it'll stimulate your short and long-term memory and you'll remember things a lot better. So put in that effort to do a little bit each day and you will not disappoint yourself. And I bet you guys can guess what number five is. Keep track of your progress. Not even gonna go into detail because I think I've spoken about this so many times. Surround yourself with the culture, with books, with music. Uh, ooh, mm. Right over here, these are some Japanese books that I got in Japan. So, if you've just started learning a language and you don't know how to read this, get the book anyway. It'll push you to learn. And what I do while I read, the best example is probably this Korean book I use, Shimparage Sanda. While I read, I will mark the words I don't know and I'll write the English translation above them. Uh, if you don't like writing in your book, get a notebook and do that. But don't be put off by the fact that you've only been learning a language for a short amount of time and you're like, oh, I can't buy a book and read this. No! Challenge yourself! Buy the book and work through it slowly. It's, it's a nice challenge. And I mean, there's no right or wrong way to, you know, start learning language. These are just tips that have worked for me. And I hope you have some tips that you can share as well. So let me know in the comments and see you guys next time. Bye.